hey guys welcome back to my channel um today we are doing kinky twist and i am attempting to do the knotless version of this i have never done this before so this is going to be new for me um i am starting off with freshly cleaned and conditioned and blown out hair um, I'm using the Jamaican Twist brand. Um, I picked this up at Jessica's Beauty Supply. They had curbside pickup. So um, I picked this up and the color is T530. This is a really kind of popular color right now. It works great for my skin tone. Um, so that's the color that we're going to go with. I'm going to give you a closer look at this color it's got some burgundy and then maybe like some b2 blend in it then it goes all the way down to the tip where it's kind of like a fiery burgundy at the end um these um this hair comes pre-sectioned and i'm not splitting it anymore i'm not doing two at a time i am going to do and use what they gave me one section at a time i've used my um my um towel rod as you can see as kind of a prep place um, as I open the packs of hair and unload them. I'm going to be using some hair clips. Um, using my Shine and Jam conditioning gel. That's not like an edge control gel. Um, it's conditioning gel. And then this Smooth Attitude. This is um, a hair milk by Taraji P. Henson, which is one of my favorite product lines. I've got a wide tooth comb and a rat tail comb. I'm gonna use that for parting. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is I wanna kind of feel around for some sections. Like how am I gonna section this off? Because for me, with as dense as my hair is, um, sometimes I can only tackle a project like this in small sections. If anything, it makes me feel better. Okay, so um, I started by combing it out, um, prepping to start, and y'all, I'm really kind of nervous because this is my first time doing something like this. We just gonna see how it goes. Okay, so here we go, starting in first part. Using the rat tail comb um, to kind of guide me through to create this section, clipping up the top half of that section, and then kind of feeling around and deciding what kind of sections, what size sections I want to do, how many can I get in this back area. Um, I've decided on four sections, so we're going to see how that goes. Um, before I start on each section, I prep each section with the Smooth Attitude um, by Taraji P. Henson Hair Milk, um, just to make sure that it has a moisturized base because um, my hair is going to be up for a little while. I love this product. My It's just so silky. I love the product on my hair. Um, so after I massage that into my hair strands, then I'm going to go with the conditioning um, gel, and I'm going to put that kind of inside my part. Um, I'm doing this to, you know, just get just a little bit of slickerization. <laughs> just a little bit. Um, to kind of help keep the hair separated, not a whole lot. I didn't want to use um, the edge control. My scalp gets dry, and I don't. I don't want too too many products on my scalp during these um, month, six weeks or eight weeks, however long I decide that um, I keep this style in. If all goes well. Um, okay, so uh, oh Lord, here we go. We got the first section here and mind you I have watched several YouTube videos and I can't even begin to shout out who because I've watched so many um, over time and this is um, the technique that I felt like was something that I can manage um, I couldn't do the rubber band technique I don't want to do that to my hair I have very thin hair strands even though my hair is very dense um, so this is um, kind of the, what I can do. And also the uh, creating a knot, the knot method. Oh, Lord, that was not for me either. Okay, so I'm going to try to give you a little bit of a glimpse of how I 
tackled this knotless method. First thing I did was make sure that the hair was even on each side, that it was split evenly, and that I pressed the center of the pre-section piece up against my scalp. And then I twisted. I twisted it with my hair um, clockwise for one section, counterclockwise the other, and from there, just continue to twist it around each other. What I always did was take the furthest section from my face and twist that on top, if that makes sense. So after I did that, just twist it on down. You feel like a champ after you get that. <laughs> I'm going to tell you those first couple ones that I did, it took me a while to really master the technique. And this... Um, Doing it this way with the knotless method is really forgiving. Um, twist it all the way down to the end. And this hair just kind of tangles inside of itself. So I um, eventually I decided that to opt out of dipping in hot water. Like a lot of times you do after you get your hair braided or twisted um, with synthetic hair. Okay, so this is the final section on this corner. And I'm telling you, I did this over a couple of days. Um, I took my time. This was my first time, and I wanted to make sure that I really kind of mastered the technique and um, that it was something that I would be able to wear for a while because I got the hair in properly. I wanted to feel confident and, you know, be able to move and shake and go running and do the things that I normally do without fear of the hair coming loose. Again, so twisting the hair at the root, using my pointer finger, my pointer finger to make sure that the hair stays close to my scalp and that I am trying to, you know, hold it tautly with my other fingers and twist. Okay, so I think I got this one down. It took me a couple of rows to kind of master this technique. This is just the second row. So it feels like I got this one pretty good. Start twisting and begin to twist down my hair strand. Now I'm not sure if you can notice, I'm gonna um, freeze right here, that um, close to my scalp, that's just my hair twisted. The synthetic hair didn't start to a little ways down and that's what I'm feeling right now. And I'm like, man, okay, it don't feel like this one. All right, this hair is, like I said, this hair is very forgiving. Um, so what I can do is untwist this bad boy. Just start from the bottom and untwist and give it another go. Same technique. Pointer finger holding it close to the scalp. And then twisting counter, well, that's clockwise for one end and then counterclockwise for the other side. As you can see, it's pretty close to my scalp, um, but as long as I can get that um, top piece over without losing the tautness, if that's a word, of the bottom strand, then I should be good to go. Okay, so now we are twisting down, and it looks like we did a pretty good job. <laughs> All right, so that feels like the other ones do. Um, it's pretty, um, the hair, the synthetic hair is close to my scalp. And uh, now I'm just twisting it all the way down. And so as you can imagine, I repeated to do this process through the whole back section of my hair. Again, twisting the hair down to the end with the length that I got is um, the most cumbersome part of this process. Once I got comfortable with the knotless technique at the, the, um, the root of my hair, then I was good to go. But of course, the work doesn't stop there. You gotta take it all the way down to the end. And again, you wanna make sure these ends are twisted and twirled um, as tightly as possible because they're going to stay together and you're going to have to you're going to be able to skip the process of um, dipping your hair in hot water at the end okay now look give you a little look feeling kind of good about myself think i 
did a pretty good job. First two rows are down. And listen, after that, it's like, okay, let's go to work. Um, again, finding sections of hair. As you can see, I did not use the rat tail comb to make specific parts and sections with this hair. Again, my hair is so dense. And these kinky twists are a good size where parting just did not seem like it would be the most important thing. For the most part, I wear my hair in a back knot with the <laughs> letting um, the back of my hair close to the nape of my neck hang down. So um, I think um, the, the parting part was not necessary. Not to have the, the pretty um, square parts like you would if you're doing box braids. Again, the more you do it, by the time you get to row three, row four, you are twisting the hair so tightly to the scalp that, you know, you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> I want to make sure uh, this ain't too tight. I'm doing it myself. Now, this is the end of the night. I have done two packs of hair and I was tired. Time to go to sleep. This is the next morning, guys. The next morning, I started the process again. Now I am at the front. Now with the front of my hair, I would suggest that at this point, you might want to use the rat tail comb to do the parting. You want your parts at the front of your hair to look nice um, because that's going to be um, what's seen the most. I also took into account the fact that um, around the front of your hair, around your hairline, your hair does different things. Everybody's hairline has some different kind of ins and outs and, you know, bumps, waves and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to make sure that my hairline looked really neat. So I used the comb. So here we are. I am at the very last one. I opted for a side part. The very last twist. And again, I'm going to give you a visual of the technique that I used. Um, also, when it came to the front of my hair, I think I'm going to show you here in a second. I used the Gorilla Glue. Um, it's in the purple bottle. I used the Gorilla Glue in the purple bottle with the kinky twist that I did around the edges of my hair. Again, because I wanted to make sure that everything was tight and neat. You see the twist method there, twisting both sides as close to the scalp bringing one across the other, making sure that the top part of my hair closest to the part is what's pulled and tucked under, twisting away from my face, and all the way down. That's one thing I learned. Do your best to make sure that all your twists go in the same direction. It just gives a more uniform, neat look. Twisting all the way down. Oh, I'm so glad. This was a lengthy process, but do mind you, I've got kids at home. I've got dinner, homework, all kind of other stuff going on in between during these twists. So I would say collectively, probably took me about five and a half hours. And it might not have taken it. Like if I put it all together, if I could do one sec session sitting, it might have taken me about four and a half hours maybe. All right, we done, we done, we done, we done. And it is so cute. I am so loving this color. I love the blend. I love the way that it ombres down to the fiery uh, burgundy at the end. I am really feeling this. It's cute, right? I think I did a good job. I think I did a good job. Give you a little close-up here of some of... Um, the knotless technique right around the edges of my hairline. As you can see, I didn't do anything like leave out baby hair. Um, I'm not a big baby hair fan. I am, however. So here we go. This is the sport in the purple bottle, the Gorilla Glue. Um, I got my edge brush. So like I was saying, I'm not one to you know, do the swirl edges and stuff like that. But I, I will, I am going to lay my edges. So I think it's a difference between doing baby hair and then laying edges. What y'all think? I think it's a difference because um, I'm grown. And so I'm going to lay my edges 
because I want a neat look. Um, but I'm not going to swirl my baby hair. I'm not going to pull no hair out, you know, and lay it down on my face. I'm not cutting around my edges to make the hair short enough for it to look like baby hair. We're not doing any of that. Yes, girl.